you know, you, uh, you go through uh, training, you go through spring ball training camp, you talk about, you know, improvements that you're making each day, but uh, it's a little bit different when you don't, you know, you don't have a preseason game to play. Uh, so you don't really know what you have in your football team until you get to this first game. Uh, I'll just say we have a lot of improvements to make, and we realize that. But I um, thought the guys showed up today. Uh, our fans were outstanding. Uh, it's my first walk down Grange Grove, and uh, there's a lot of energy outside that was brought to the stadium, and uh, it led, you know, it gave us momentum right away. You know, I talk a lot about takeaways and the, you know, Norm, if you look at that turnover ratio, it kind of tells you who won the football game. But, you know, uh, deferring and putting them, you know, getting them backed up and then getting a quick takeaway kind of set the tone uh, for the day. Offensively, I thought Wes Lunt was outstanding. Good decisions. He can throw the ball. He can make, you know, all of the throws. I think he led our offense well today. Uh, Joe Spencer, our center, wasn't able to play today. So, you know, we, we started a true freshman in Darte Lee. Whenever you have to do that, you know, there's some concern coming in. But I thought our line uh, stepped up and, you know, whether it was uh, pass blocking or, 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 of course, opening up holes for the run, I thought they did a good job. Uh, we like our running back. Keyshawn Vaughn is an excellent player. But when you're the backup in, in uh, Kendrick uh, Foster, when you get an opportunity to play, uh, you have to make the most of it, and he did today. I uh, thought Kendra did a great job. Um, besides that, offensively, you know, it's by getting points on the board. Malik Turner, we can go through. A lot of offensive guys did good things. Other side of the ball, defensively, the front kind of set the tempo a little bit. They had an outstanding quarterback. As I said earlier, those takeaways helped early on. Uh, s special teams. Uh, you know, it's good to get, you know, to hit a field goal there late. It's a shame that we had the punt return, but Darius Mosley uh, called back. But as you can see, I'm going over a lot of things, so there's a lot of good things happening in this game. It's a good start, but that's about all it is. It's a start. We kind of realize it's one game, but, you know, when you get a win, you really celebrate it, and we will. No major injuries from the game, so we should be good to go next week. Take your question. Kendrick, leading up to this game, right? you notice some things you like in them? Kendrick has played that way, has practiced that way throughout. Uh, for the, you know, the ones that have been around our practices, it's not a surprise that he played that way. But, you know, when you have big runs like that, it gets your attention a little bit. But that's how it's supposed to happen, too. When you work hard, you know, in all season, you're supposed to see benefits from it. So pumped up that he was able, able to have that type of game. Love you. How would you describe your emotions overall today? You said you'd be a little bit nervous coming in. Did you experience any of that? And at the end there, when you're, when you're with the team and the young mark? There were quite a few emotions, yeah. Uh, a lot of anticipation for the game. I didn't get a whole lot of sleep last night. Uh, just excited about today. And, you know, I've talked a lot about the, the game day atmosphere on a college campus. I saw it firsthand today. Thought our students were outstanding, and again our fans leading up, you know, right into the stadium. Uh, it's good to see the blue and orange, you know, and orange throughout the stadium. So, you know, all the families here today. So it's a good day for the Smith family, to say the least. Well, we usually expect to see at some point, you know, a wall, especially in a really one-sided college game in early September. But there was no wall. Uh, Four good quarters. Yes. Well, uh, about two really good quarters, and then about two we'll kind of work on a little bit. But uh, no, seriously, there there are a lot of things we'll that we'll clean up uh, from this game. But our team has responded like that throughout. I've seen them every day, and uh, you know we have some good players. We have some good players that that buy into their role on the football team. But it's one game. It's one game, we realize that, but we want it to be 1-0 and o heading into the North Carolina game, and uh, that's where we are. Question about Darte Lee, uh, that's a lot of responsibility to hand a kid who was playing high school football last year. When did, when did he find out he was going to start, and, and how did he react to the news? And, uh... Well, uh, you know, last week he got a lot of reps. Of course, Joe uh, was nursing his injury last week, so... Um, 
you know, Darte worked with the one some, but, you know, we didn't tell him, you know, you're for sure starting anything like that. Uh, but you have to be ready when your number's called, and you have everybody that dress, 70 guys or so that dress, you know, should go in, you know, thinking that they're going to play and have to play the best game they played in their life. And But, again, what a thrill for him to start your first game as a freshman and it'd be this type of win. Uh, no, I don't write off, but I know we use quite a few. And uh, we like, as a reason why we did, we like some of our freshmen that we have. And uh, we're trying to win football games. And uh, there are a few guys we think can help us win football games this year. It's big because Julian's another young player. He hasn't played around here at all, really. Uh, you know, I, he was on the he was third on the depth chart for a lot of camp, but uh, he's got a lot of ability. I've kind of talked about his ability. No one can jump higher or run as fast as Julian Hilton. So, you know, but it's one thing to be able to run and jump. You got to be able to make plays and finish plays. And uh, he finished a few today, not just at interception. Coach, everybody knows your name is not Mr. Takeaways. You preach takeaways in all training camp. And right off the bat, second play of the game, interception led to a touchdown. Next drive, interception led to a touchdown. How important was that for you? It, it, it's critical. I mean, it's the winning edge. And, uh, you know, a lot of people talk about it, but we, I mean, our guys believe that. And that's the first step is getting guys to buy into it. You know, we had Charles Tillman came down one day in practice, and he talked about it. And so you just, you just keep talking about it, and our staff has done that. And, but you need to see it out there uh, today. And uh, we're talking about those three we got, but I mean, there were at least a couple we left out there. And uh, next week we'll need to get those two. Well, you mentioned preseason games kind of allows you to know what you have in your team. Is this kind of this is like that going into an opponent that's more your size, your strength, and lots of Well, I think, yes, we were able to see what we can do finishing plays. And uh, so we saw some things today that we didn't know. And for a lot of, you know, coaching staff, you know, just see how our guys react in a game environment like, like we have today. So we do know a lot more about it. But uh, we'll find out some things next week, too. And as much as anything, I, I wanted the team to play hard. You know, be a disciplined team that played hard, and uh, and we're heading in that direction. Any nerves from your freshman kicker? Uh, we have a freshman kicker. No, I mean uh, we didn't at all. I mean those guys don't know that they're supposed to be nervous. You know, when your numbers call, you kind of go out. You know, Chase has done a good job. You know, throughout, so we expect him to kick well. But he hasn't played a lot, so I, you know, will give you that. How's that? Uh, Malik Turner is a good football player, and he's got good size, and I've seen him make a lot of plays. You know, five or so weeks, you know, we, we've seen Malik do a lot of things. He's an excellent blocker, too, good size. But, again, it's about finishing and being able to. Those were great throws, but um, he's capable of those type plays. First day, meeting impacts Hardy Dickerson. We knew Jamel Preston, two sacks. Just those, those guys have been, seem to make a huge impact. And not a surprise. I mean, Hardy Dickerson was, uh, again, has been here for four or five weeks, whatever, and was selected captain. That says an awful lot about his impact that he's had on our football team. And Jamil President is a, and he, he's a good football player. He can rush. He's a, I think he's a legitimate defensive end that can rush the passer. And, uh, you need some stats to back that, to back that up, and uh, it was a good start, at least today. Well, was it, was it how much are you concerned about making too much of this for players or anybody to you know, because uh, of so we, you know, uh, we can, you know, we try to just be real as much as anything. We won a game today, so you have a couple options. You can say, hey, man, don't, you know, it's a win, but the opponent wasn't as as good as some others. We're going to play, or you just you go with what happened. We're going to enjoy wins, period, no matter who it's against. Uh, we, we're we high right after win, and that's what you should do. It's too hard winning, and when you win, you need to celebrate it like it's a Super Bowl for you. It doesn't matter when and what type of win that is. But we realize it is one, and tomorrow we'll be right back at it. 
Uh, two o'clock tomorrow, our players will be here, and it's on the North Carolina. Fair to say that the game plan might have been to use the run to open the passing game, but the opposite is what happened. I mean, it's hard. I mean, which came first, the chicken or the egg? You know, I, you know, both. The running game definitely helped the pass, but you can look at it the other way around, too. We want balance, and you go into each game with a game plan as far as what you think you can do, but early in the game, it kind of tells you what you need to lean on a little bit. We like some of the matchups we had in the passing game going in and after we got to the game, but of course, running the game was a big part of it. We worked uh, for the most part that way this past week, so um, it, it didn't really affect an awful lot on what we did. Um, and, and it's always about the next guy up. You can't have a big drop off when injuries or things like that, you know, may interrupt a flow that you've had earlier. Timeline for Spencer's injury. Yes. What is the timeline for Spencer? Well, we could have, we could have jumped to that question right away. <laughs> I like, you know, since um, I don't have to go over it, I can, you can probably understand why I'm not going to go over it right now. But uh, we do have a timeline, and I feel pretty good about that timeline. I would say that it is not a long-term injury, yes. Lovey, I did a little look, uh, looking what, during the game. And I did, too. This, this, is, this, is, this, is not the, this is not the first time a Lovey Smith team has coached, uh, Lovey Smith coach team has scored 50. It happened one other time. Do you remember the other time? You know, I kind of lived in the present. Uh, you're going to tell me, I assume. At Tennessee, Titans. Right? Tennessee, yeah, I do remember that game. I do. The most points the team of yours has ever scored. It's good to know. I did not know that. And I just know that it's fun being on that side of the field. Fortunately, I've been on the other side, too, and that's not a lot of, a lot of fun. But um, games like today, though, I mean, you don't have them very often. We realize that. Uh, but, you, again, you enjoy it when it happens. Well, you kind of lost your set. Got here, told him have a dumbbell on either side, and hold that, and he said, that, that kind of said, "Hey, you need to drop some weight." Just what did you see in him that he had the potential to do this? Because I've had a lot of experience with having a five-pound and even ten-pound uh, dumbbell walking around, but we did ask our guys to lose a lot. We were a heavy football team, and that's just a part. Everything we've asked him to do. Again, we realize how far we have to go, but you know, as a coach, when you come in, you want guys to buy into how we're going to try to win football games, and they've answered the bell on everything we've asked them to do. He has been an example, but there's others too. We have quite a few guys. It would be easy for me to talk about a guy that hasn't tried to do what we've asked him to, and we don't have many like that. Um, again, one, one win, we're excited about it. Just can't wait to uh, watch the video and make those corrections that we need to and we'll have to make to uh, be North Carolina next week. Like first game, things happen, and there's no way to get around it. You know, you preach it, and we've had officials at just about all of our practices, but um, they happen. You know, a few of them shouldn't happen, you know. You know, you have some penalties that, you know, you're just working hard and playing hard and, and you can't hardly avoid some. But some of those today uh, weren't ones that we'll, we'll make in the, in the future. I'll just say that. Coach, you mentioned uh, earlier about J Jamil President. He's a transfer from Auburn. How much are you going to be depending on him next week against an SEC opponent? Uh, quite a bit, you know, and whether it's SEC or uh, SEC opponent, ACC, you know, but – a uh, good opponent, though. We're we're going to count on him quite a bit. Of course, uh, Jamil is a part of the rotation. I think we have three outstanding ends. Of course, uh, Dewan Smoot is uh, as good as there is around. Uh, uh, you know, of course, Jamil President is a big part of it, also. Uh, so we 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 feel good about those three, and inside also. I mean, defensive line is the strength of our team. It's kind of simple as that. Um, the president had a great game. Obviously, we hear a lot about DeJuan but how impressed were you with Carol Phillips? Well, Carol Phillips is a good player, too. So, impressed, I mean, I, I, we expected that. 
I mean, he's a legitimate, he's our right end. So for him to be in that role, we're saying that we like the matchup. You know, normally he's going, he's on the blind side of the quarterback and he has juice. And again, he, he can rush from the outside. So those guys need to have that type of impact each week for us to have success. Overall, you said expectations for possibly exceeded. I know you no, said there's always improvement. I definitely say exceeded. Uh, met, yeah. I think whenever you, you get a win, uh, no matter what type of win, when I come in here, if, if we're talking about a win, they've met our expectation, and we can work from that. Uh, so today, that was definitely the case. It's uh, 6.30. How, how, how much time do you have ahead of you tonight watching football? Uh, our football, just as a fan football, North Carolina football. Alabama, USC. Uh, I'm going to be a, I will be a football fan. I am a football fan. So tonight, I'm like most of us, I'm going to watch games. Uh, you know, of course, uh, watching a replay of, of our game will be a part of that. Uh, and nowadays, you know, you, you have instant uh, video wherever you are, which is a good thing. But looking forward to relaxing a little bit tonight, yes. Final question, 14-10, Georgia at the half. 14-10. Uh, we can't, of course, we've taped that game and can't wait to see two good football teams there for sure. I, 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 I.